No problem. <laughs> the following is a public service announcement for all the parents out there. Any parents? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> so you know what a bumbo is? Yes. It's For those of you who don't know, it's a foam rubber weird molded chair that you sit an infant up in before they're able to actually sit up. And uh, I was very troubled to see on the internet today that uh, there's a recall on them. How the hell do you recall a bumbo? It's flat on the bottom, it's made out of rubber, you know. Yeah. Apparently it's due to skull fractures that are happening as the babies like lean back out of them and hit their heads. And you know how that happens? One of two things, 50 shades of gray, <laughs> or your friggin' mother is too busy uploading the 7,000th album of, of this less than one year old child's life. So you'll have a great record of pre-brain um, pre damage, so that's good. Um, what the hell? Exactly. So, on the t same topic of safety, um, Airport security. Good times, right? Um, where I'm from, I'm from Lab City, actually. None of you have probably heard of it. <laughs> I try to pretend I haven't. And um, you go through the airport security there, and every single time I've gone through, I have a hair straightener in my suitcase. Every single time, I've gotten a look at me like I have a bomb ready to detonate in my suitcase. Explain to me how this is dangerous. It's in my suitcase. At no point in the flight am I going to be able to go down to the cargo hold and actually, you know, can you hang on a second? I'm going to go down there, freeze to death, and have no air to breathe. <laughs> also, because you know there are plugs to plug things in on the airplane. Oh, I'm sorry, you're pissing me off. You got five minutes? Wait, it, it's not heated up yet. Um, can you stick your hand out for me? Just hold it still. One sec. It's like one inch clearance. One moment. Clamp. Yeah, I can see that happening. I can really see that happening. That's ridiculous. But yeah, I can go through the same security clearance with a gun belt buckle. Which I realize is not dangerous, but I'm sure that would do more damage if it swung around than if I had a straight iron. So I go through... Recently I flew to Montreal from here via Toronto, because it's cheaper to burn more fuel. Um, so I go through Toronto airport security and I'm thinking, okay, they're totally gonna pull me over because I have a giant baggie full of nondescript, generic Costco brand Tylenol in a baggie. So for sure, they think that I'm a drug dealer or I have some serious anthrax that I'm packing. Oh no, no, no. I go through and I've got gifts for my niece and nephew in the form of a LED laser gun, laser gun that just makes the noises and it's about this big on a card. There's a supervisor called and the girl looks at me again like I have a bomb. These people are very well trained and very brilliant. IQ of 10. So she calls for a supervisor and while she's doing this and doesn't know if it's dangerous or not, all I can hear is pew, 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 pew. Supervisor, supervisor, wicked five, pew, 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 pew. First of all, you don't shoot it if you don't know what the hell it's for, okay? Not really feeling too safe. Second of all, I have a giant baggie of fucking pills that you can't describe. But that's no problem, no problem. Drug dealers, you got no problems. Don't, don't mail it, just fly with it. You'll be fine. So. Then, I figure I'm in the clear when she's gotten this out of the way. Hello, terrorist kitty magnets. What? The girl takes out the box, looks at it, again, like it's a bomb. There's, there's a whole theme here. I think they practice the face or something. And it's dress me up, hello, terrorist kitty magnets. Now, I know Breaking Bad is really popular. But when Jesse said, magnets, bitch, it was a friggin' magnet that could tip over a cube van into a police station. I think we're safe. So I wound up getting, I wound up getting a pat down after this. 
things are getting sexy. So the girl comes up to me, and I'm wearing actually this very dress, and uh, I'm bracing myself because I'm just like, ugh, ugh, right? And she barely even grazes me, which I should be like really, really grateful for. But now I'm thinking, how do you know that? How do you know by going and that I'm not packing anything? I don't get mean to get too graphic here, but I have orifices. I mean, you know, I'm not looking for any loving, but I'm just saying. I think you're just trying to verify that I actually have breasts. They do exist. So, um, next time you're flying, don't bring any toys, but bring all the drugs you want. And for God's sakes, do not, do not bring any hair tools, because God only knows what could happen. Fly safe and uh, sleep well. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. You've been great.